All right, so what you're looking at is my wife's Google account for Google Photos. She has 13.7 gigabytes used of her free 15 gigabytes. However, my account, I've paid for the 200 gigabytes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get somebody else added from, your, from their free account, added to your paid account. In other words, how can multiple people share and access one Google One account? So you're all sharing the same amount of data. So first things first, let's head over to the Google One main page. You can go to Google and type Google One. And there it is, the first result, Google One Cloud Storage. You can read more about it right there, but we're gonna wanna go into that top link. And here we are on the main page. Now on the top right, you'll see open Google One, little blue button. And next we're going to go to this URL, families.google.com backslash families. And there's a link right there you can click to that says members or add members. So what we're gonna do is click invite a family member. And in the to box, you're gonna type the email address of the person that you want to invite. In my case, it's my spouse's email address. So I will type that there and then click send. But it's not as easy as that. There's another step here. So after you've clicked that like button, you're gonna go to the home page again on Google One on the left. Just click right there where it says home. And then over here on the top right, can you see the little gearbox? Go ahead and click that and then swoop down to manage family settings right there. And it says show Google, share Google one with family. Make sure that is toggled on. See the blue check mark that needs to be toggled on and then click manage. And you can see the individuals that you now will be able to manage. And what happens is when your family member, opens their phone, they have to exceed the free 15 first. It'll, if they haven't met their free 15, it might still show that they haven't met the free 15. But once they go over that, and by the way, check your email because you should have received an email verification that your family member activity has been uh, executed and, and done successfully. But again, you're gonna go into that phone and you should now see on your family member's phone that the same number, the total maximum allowable gigabytes is being met on their phone as well. And that's how you share data, multiple people